for me this this week, there's been a deep dive into my own mystical experiences and the day-to-day mystical or the lack thereof. I suppose pretty much everybody in this room has had a mystical experience of sorts. I'm sure everyone online has had a mystical experience of sorts. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here, right? We're here trying to do something together. We're here trying to um, cultivate the mystic within us. And it's interesting in this cycle that we've been in recently, for me, there was a couple of weeks of intensity. And I don't know about you all, but like to tap into my inner mystic through cycles of intensity is sometimes a challenge. And so it comes down to like, for some of us, like myself personally, my first mystical experience that I can remember was around the age of 18. And, you know, had some help from some plant medicine, some mushrooms that actually opened up something in me. And it was so beautiful. It was like the first time I ever like was able to like really feel this, this oneness, this, this connection. I actually heard a voice. It was an inner voice. And it was like, love is the key and it's okay to die. Now, if I went around telling everybody that message, they'd probably look at me like I was crazy, right? My whole life has been about really um, testing that out, like really feeling into the truth of that and trying to bring that reality of love is the key to my day-to-day experience. And what I realized in the last couple of weeks, there was some some things I was working with that, well, it was a cycle of intensity. That's what I was working with. Working in in a in a with a group of people trying to create something, and there was a high level of assumption and a low level of communication. That was stressful, and that knocked me into more of a place of like judging it, condemning it, feeling the feelings of that. Judging my own feelings about that, getting a little PO'd, getting a little frustrated with myself and others, mostly others. And noticing that there was a judgment, you know, that that knocked me out of that mystical experience. And what I've really come to in through in my meditations, this being a mystic and really knowing our oneness requires us to love it all, to really love it all. And what does that mean? Do you you really love when there's low communication amongst people? Do you love that? No, but there's a quality of love you can bring to it. You can bring forgiveness. We can bring understanding. We can bring some blessing to it. Patience, right? And so that's the practice. I, I, I've, after two weeks of intensity and having like not so great of an experience, like just feeling knocked out of my center, you know, I knew that the only thing I could really do was surrender and create some space, create some space in my weekend. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not going here. I'm not doing that. I'm coming inside. I'm going in. I'm not going to church. Because the temple that I needed was inside myself. We've all had that, right? I mean, it's it's beautiful to come into this kind of a container and connect with each other. But that's not what I needed. I needed to go in and have this conversation with the self and have some self-inquiry. One of the things that we talked about last week was this ability for the mystic of today to the word was self-criticism that has some negative connotations for me and I'm sure it does for some of you but criticism critic to to self-critique where we are what we're doing how well am I loving right now what do I need for myself so that I can come into this more 
a, a place of tranquility where I can quiet my mind and allow something higher to come through. I think we're all called upon in this time to really move with this, this self-inquiry, this self, like this continual awareness of where we are. Are we really loving it? Are we loving it all? Am I loving myself? Am I loving that feeling that went through me or am I judging it? Am I suddenly like, oh, I'm not as spiritual as I thought because I'm angry. I'm aggravated, right? No, I can actually be in the space of like, oh, wow. Check that out. I'm feeling this way. What's, what are my emotions trying to tell me? That's all that it is. Your emotions are there to try to tell you something, to, to, to point to something that's maybe out of alignment, or maybe it's a self-perception. So to be aware, to, to love it all, to love what comes through and to not judge it and not say, oh, well, I must not be a mystic. I must not be as spiritual as I thought. I must be a fraud because here I am, I'm being angry, I'm being frustrated, I'm judging. It's like, no, last, last weekend was great because I was able to come back to center and go, you know what? No, that's not the truth of me. I am a mystic, you're a mystic. We're all here to be mystical beings, to really embody the truth of who we are, the higher self, that one that is in us. And we can't do it if we're not really loving 